Hey guys, it is me. Um, I'm just going to play something for you and I'll catch you on the other side. What kind of mom was she? Phenomenal. Outrageous. She'd do anything for her children. She just loved her children and she wanted them to have everything. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? The Giants won last night. Oh no. I know. <laughs> you said they were going to lose, but they won. Oh no. By one point. Oh no. Oh no. You're so funny. Got I don't know. Hold them out. Hey, no cars coming. Hi, Cece. Careful. Careful. Do you want a brother or a sister? Sister. You want a little sister? Yeah. You want to be a big sister? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. I'm there. Are you excited? Yes! Yeah. Pizza! Yes, pizza's here? How many pieces yeah. are you going to have? I'm going to have really a lot. A really a lot? Yeah. That's a lot. Are you excited pizza's here? Yeah. You guys going to eat a whole pie by yourself? Yes. Good job, Cece. I'm glad we've we've raised independent children. Watch your fingers. Hello. All done. Hey guys. Say hi, Cece. Say hi, Bells. Hi, Bells. No, you gotta say hi. Hi. Hi, Anne. Hi, Anne. Say hi, Christina. Hi, Christina. Say hi, Caitlin. Hi, Caitlin. Yeah, tell her. Bye guys. But is she sharing with her? Or she real? In the sky, she's do that. Yeah. Her god is, is she so sad. As we as we go to night, as we go to night, now we can go to school. Class is not gonna be here. Okay. But she's not wearing dress. But she will wear dress. So thanks for watching that. Um, I kind of just wanted to make a video to bring it back to reality. I wanted to show people where it all started, before all the grifting, before all the nasty bullying, before the egocentric narcissists out there that got hold of the story and run with it, started making the lies for profit. I wanted to just bring this back to reality. Um, I. I've never been involved with something like this before myself and this story has really it's it's really kind of got to my heart i really feel like you know you get to know a family when you, you you watch so many videos don't you you watch so much on facebook um but what i want to say is the things that are being said about the family and the things that are being said about shanann it's just too much too much at the moment it's too much it's just too much. I can't even say, I can't even put into words what I want to say. The fact that people are saying things like, you know, Shanann would cut off Bella's hair as a punishment, which is ridiculous. They apparently only fed them Thrive Bars and just abused and treated them bad. No, those videos show that they weren't treated bad. Those videos show that they were looked after and that they were fed well and that there was no abuse going on at all. No one's perfect. I mean, I know there's videos out there where Shanann was um, videoing herself on the Thrive Facebook 
with her job and Bella was hungry. Well, how many people have got home from shopping and the child's hungry and they've said, wait a minute, let's put the shopping away first or I've got to put the dinner on before I feed you. You know, how many times does this happen in a family where you just think, hang on a minute, I'll feed you afterwards, just two minutes. I don't have children, but I still think that it happens. And for people to, thousands and thousands and thousands of people around the world to see certain footage and look at it and pick it apart, hate is in the eye of the beholder. And if you are a toxic, nasty individual, you will find fault in whatever you watch. And you can pull apart and you can see the ambiguity of something. For instance, you know, I could be walking my dog down the road, the dog's pulling and jumping in puddles. It could be having fun. No, somebody could watch that video and say, oh, look at her, look at her choking the dog. Look at her making it jump through the puddles. I bet when she gets home, her house is filthy and minging. People make up things all the time. And I wanna just cover a few things. There's people in this channel, in this community, they firstly say that I like to just get attention. My video is all about attention. Well, yes, they are. They are. They're about the attention, getting the attention of people who are abusing the Rusek family. My video is about trying to get attention for those people who have been scammed by Alan. And I'm trying to get attention for the scamming and the abuse that Alan does and the lies and defamation that Alan does to people and the threats. Yeah, so I am. I am trying to get attention. So that is right there. But I'll tell you one thing, there is channels out there that don't get enough attention. There are channels out there that are abusing people and that are threatening people, accusing Helen of all sorts of nasty things, accusing Martin of wetting the bed. Martin didn't. It was humidity in the house. I wanna put that out there now. So these people, if they want to get attention, because at the moment their their channels are only small, so they tend to abuse and the only feedback they get really are from the enablers who have supported their channel, who have su subscribed to their channel. Well, let's, let's get those channels out there, shall we? If you think that I want attention, I'll give you attention. Firstly, Sheila. This is one of the minions of BAM. This is BAM. She's the one that uh, basically wants to kill people because she's a psychopath and she's actually pushed someone to suicide and she'd quite happily do it again. The things that these people say on their channels is disgusting. And obviously there's Alan, the armchair detective, which is where it all started. He threatens, he lies, he defames, he scams, he hurts people. He's hurt the Rusek family in many ways. And the one thing I want to say about these channels that are actually abusing the Ruseks is they're going on about the Crowd Justice Fund. They're saying, oh look, Frankie is now trying to get the money, to get money off Alan. We didn't sign up for this. We gave money to take him off YouTube. We gave the Ruseks, we gave Frankie money for the Crowd Justice Fund to get him removed, but no, apparently he wants money from it. Now, they're all kicking off because they were lied to, apparently. They gave money for one thing and it got put to another. Well, let me just remind you of something here, guys. Bam, Alexandra, Sheila, Kiss My Axe, JC. They're all kicking off about the Crowd Justice Fund and they all support Alan, the armchair detective. Let me show you this clip. Ashton Page asked a question. Are you still making a DV documentary with all our invested funds going forward? No. The invested funds for the documentary, we bought software and that um, to try to make it. And then we ran into trouble with the book and had to spend all the money that we had on copyrights for the book. So I'm afraid the money, the documentary has all been spent in arranging a documentary, but we haven't got any money left. So no, there won't be a documentary, not not to that standard. But the, the funds you invested in the armchair detective went towards the book and everything else, the whole thing. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Pope. <laughs> You're a one, you are. Okay. So put it. There's Alan admitting he got a fund for the documentary. And here is what he got, 1,595. 
dollars for the film that was never made. And then said that he put it towards the uh, software. He put it towards the book. Now, these people are supporting Alan, but they're doing exactly the same thing as the Rusex apparently are doing. Isn't that hypocritical? So Frankie's been accused of all sorts of things. Frankie's been accused of hitting children. It's the most disgusting, vile stuff going out there. And the worst thing is Frankie doesn't support himself. Why? Because he doesn't feel he needs to, because everybody's lying, everybody's creating. People are lying about Frankie. People are making assumptions. They're taking a small fact and they're making it bigger and bigger and bigger and embellishing it. Now it's got legs. It's running away with itself. And these people are disgusting. And these people are the very people who have abused themselves. These people that are accusing Frankie of doing the most vile things, which are lies. These are the people that have abused themselves. These are the people that harass people. These are the people that call people hippos and make pictures of me wearing a moustache. Like a Hitler moustache. They make videos and the most disgusting, ridiculous, stupid, laughable stuff that I think is quite funny. I can take it, but I haven't lost my family. How and why they're doing to Frankie what they are is just beyond me. Do they not have any empathy? Bam is the kind of person that wants to go around and she's quite happy to push someone to suicide. Just boxed him on my next video. I put his address in the title and I said in the video, fuck him. This means more. I just want you to play along with me because I'm going to troll this fucker back into the psychiatric ward. That's what I'm going to do. When people step with my family, trust me, I pushed one fucker to hang himself at one time. That's a long story. And I'll tell you all about it, but yes, I did. I pushed him to commit suicide and I've got absolutely no qualms about doing it a second time. And she would do it again. She's ripped an eight-year-old child apart. And yet she's going around saying Shanann's a bad mother. It's ironic. Ironic. Bam is the worst person I've ever come across. And for her to throw stones towards Shanann and accuse her of being a bad mother, feeding the kids thrive continuously, cutting their hair short, being a bad mum, lying about lupus. The things that come out of that woman's mouth are disgraceful. Yet look who she is. Look who she is. She's an abuser. She threatens. She attacks people and she's proud of it. And her and Alan are like this. It says a lot. See, they accuse us of being bullies to them. No, we're just responding to them. We're just responding to their disgustingness. So I'm just making this video in support of Frankie because the stuff that's going out now, I can't. I can't aim this video at the people who are doing the abuse. I can't aim this video at the people like Bam, like Sheila, Kiss My Axe, JC, the people that are slandering for their own reason, going off about the Crowd Justice Fund and how he, they were lied to when Alan's doing exactly the same thing. But are they getting at Alan for the documentary money? No, they're not. It's all an act to be able to scream and shout. It's all a topic. These people need a topic. They're all the same type of people. There's not one compassionate, empathic person amongst them. I'll get ripped to pieces for this video. I'm not bothered once whatsoever. Make videos about me, put tashes on me. Call me Val scissor hands, Lego hair, you name it. I don't really care. Because I've got the strength to stand up for, against people who are bullying Frankie. Now, Frankie doesn't have the strength because he's been to hell and back. And so does his family. Leave Sandy alone. Stop going on about lying about what she said to you. They haven't abused anybody. They haven't said anything to anybody. They haven't done a damn thing. They just sat at home quietly watching you lot attack for no reason. And whatever reason it is that you've got... Say it once 
and then shut up about it. You love the drama and that is all that you guys are using this for is to feed your own drama, to feed your own ego. You're going around projecting onto everybody else and how we're all doing stuff and we're all doing when you're doing it yourselves. Frankie has not beaten a young kid till he's nearly been brain damaged. Everybody watching this, please do not listen to people who are lying about Frankie. Frankie has not beaten the shit out of a child like these people are saying. See, what they do is they say a little tiny bit and they get away with it. Because maybe Frankie doesn't want to stand up for himself because he's too tired, he's exhausted and it's a lie. So they think, oh, I got away with that. I'll make it a bit bigger. So they make it a bit bigger before you know it. It was a tiny fish turned into a big fuck off tuna. They will embellish and add on and add on. And every time they make a video that goes on and on and on, it started off as this something and now it's that it's huge because they keep on adding and embellishing and making the, 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 the tiny little fact that's innocent and that can be explained. They add on to it and add on to it and add on to it. And before you know it, you know, Frank has done the most vulgar things. He hasn't. So please, anybody watching this video, please support me and help Frankie and the family. They are not perfect. No one is perfect. Say what you've got to say about them. Say the things that you dislike. Say your opinions. And that can be it. Don't embellish. Don't feel because you're upset and you hate somebody that you can go behind the scenes and, and, and start lying about people and making up stories. Guys, I'm going to put the Crowd Justice Fund below this video. Please help us support Frankie against these narcissistic people that are attacking continuously. They need to grow up. 50 odd year old women acting like school children, making videos of hippos. And just the most grotesque things. <sighs> Guys, thanks for watching.